I, I don't seem to be able to attack these troops, which is rather odd. And this boat is set on fire now. Where I think it's set on fire. Yeah, it's set on fire, so uh, the people on that boat may bail. And we'll get these uh, Velites to move forward, I suppose. Brave Romans to a man. Uh, I can't issue a combat order here, so I guess I'll get these uh, principes to walk forward. They have the they have better troop quality, so they might be able to just kind of get away with uh, broad movement based orders like that. Oh, the war dogs are coming back from uh, from killing off all of these guys. I think it's I think it's with the landing. The la landing's bugged by a little bit. Can't uh can't really get rid of that troop for some reason. We'll try this again. If I get our guys to just kind of walk into them, would that do it? Yeah, we're kind of fighting them now. That's really strange, though. So these slingers on the boats are uh, going to burn up, kind of like that. It appears that this boat, the one that's uh, currently on fire, is trying to land, but I mean, it's not having very much luck. Missiles, ready and waiting. And I suppose this will do it for the boats. That'll set them all on, uh, on fire. We await your now the command. gatehouse, is the gatehouse burned down already? No. Astati. Gatehouse needs to be burned down, though. And once that is done, um, we can send in the troops over there. Yeah, this battle is kind of strange. I mean, uh... Okay, well, all the boats are set on fire now, so... Yeah, that's kind of that. I'll get the Vilites to uh, pull back over here. And as soon as the gate fully burns down, I think I'll just send in the, uh, the Histadi and whatever we have left, really. And uh, really just barge in there, take all of the control points, and I think that'll be the uh, the end of them, really. Yeah, all of their landing forces appear to just be standing around. That is really weird. Uh, fast forward here. The gate will burn down any second now. Yeah, now we can get people into the gate, so we'll get them to uh, enter the fortress. And these guys still aren't doing anything really strange behavior with the boats. Oh, now they're fighting for some reason. Dogs are still out there doing their own thing from the looks of it. Huh, this is a really odd battle. Uh, but I guess we'll kill off all of the farmers here. And right now, you know, I, I really don't know what to do. I mean odd glitchy battle happening right now. So as soon as we capture two of these uh, locations, I think I'm probably just going to wait out the battle and make all of their um, forces flee pretty much. Yeah, so capped one. And there's going to be two. And we'll see how that goes from there, really. I think I'll leave one squad just to, uh, just to protect that point. And now this boat, yeah, this uh, this shore landing location is pretty much all cleared off, except for this one boat of slingers. They aren't fired, though. Are they going to try to shoot us down? Yeah. We'll pull our troops back, and uh, we have the dogs still, so if they do land, we'll, uh, we'll sick the dogs on them. But for now, seeing as how the, this little force is bugged and our legion hasn't, uh, hasn't been standing up all too well, I think I'll just uh, cap these points like that. And I guess that'll be the end of this fight. Yeah, this is really odd. Uh, these guys shouldn't really be standing here. I'm just letting the oil pour on them. So if everything goes correctly, I believe this boat will just eventually burn out. And uh, the people will jump off. Ah, this troop ran away. Okay, fair enough. That's probably going to cost us uh, one Histadi group. Yeah. Or maybe not, maybe... Oh, no, never mind, he got picked off. 
I mean, our Velaita core is still alive, so that's good. Uh, the Hestadi will probably go into replace anyways, so, oh well, no big deal. Yeah, really strange battle there. The enemy force didn't really do much. Um, so we we kind of cut them down by half, by uh, by three quarters actually, from the looks of it. Um, but then again, we lost more than half of our troops, so wasn't too great. Unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, so that is the uh, come on end of this battle. Yeah, so we'll have uh, we have retaken control of this city then. You have further orders. So just like that. That'll put the cat. That'll put it under our control, which is nice. And we can't train any troops here, which is rather unfortunate. And uh, well, we can pick a we can pick a new tradition for them. So let's do uh, let's make them defenders of Rome. No, make them uh, indomitable uh, legionnaires like that. That's and then we on. will uh, come over here and fight this battle now. So let's march our troops over here. None will escape. And let's see. So we are fighting a battle against a uh, similar sized force. They don't have cavalry though. So um, see how this goes. Now it is going to be in a city, so um, we might have to bait these guys out or really uh, exploit flanking to uh, win this battle right here. Hmm, from, from the looks of the map, I mean, if we can, uh, if we can really utilize our cavalry, and really drive them through uh, different alleys of the city. We still have a we still have a fairly good chance at winning, um, but the enemy troops do look um, like they're veteran. So um, yeah, there's kind of that going on as well. See if we can wait for some rain. No rain, but um, yeah, I guess we're going to fight in the afternoon though. So that is fine. Yeah, nice little Roman city now. Um, How my cavalry come from uh, different angles than our regular troops, and for the Celtic uh, auxiliary Celtic warriors, we're just going to kind of form a solid mass with these guys, and uh, really press forward from there. So we'll get these guys to start marching forward like that. And we'll really wait until uh, wait and see what they do. So they're trying to assemble their men. We'll move our cavalry in position um, into the like little alleyway locations, so that when we engage them, we can decisively win against them. And let's see uh, what they say about these Celtic uh, these Celtic troops. Mm, decent attack, pretty much. These are just decent people. They don't la they lack formal organization. Um, but they're extremely able metal workers, and they have long experience as uh, mercenaries. I wonder if you can enter down here. Like, can I? No, this is a this is a prop. I can't enter that little building. Okay, fair enough. Let's see. They have a lot of spear bands and skirmishers over there. Some of these sword bands are what uh, I'm wondering about. Heroic raiders as a as their captain leader. That might be uh, that might be some trouble. And let's see, the cavalry should be positioned right at the flanks. Could have supplemented those cavalry with some infantry if we uh, if we had wanted to, but I have a feeling it'd be better to keep our uh, infantry a solid mass, so then we can have the general right behind them, um, keeping them in line really.
Oh, they're already going to start pummeling us. So I think I'll get our guys to uh, start going for a charge right here. Try to get them on the side there. And I'll try to draw a fight over there too. So if one clash is going on over there, they're going to send our troops, they're going to send their cavalry over here, so we're going to do a, we're going to put up a shield wall. And that's going to cut down their, uh, their heroic raiders down to almost half right away. So now we get the cavalry in. Some more troops committed over here. We're not taking that many losses, but apparently we're not doing too well inside this battle right here. So we'll get the cavalry squads to start moving in. Actually, scratch that. We'll wait for a little bit more. Get our uh, general unit to come up here. And with our cavalry, we're going to drive uh, one squad over there. And another one in this direction. So that is, uh, that is hopefully going to break their rear. going to have these cavalry units come over there and we'll send these people over there get our uh, get our general to do second wind which is going to uh, lo to lower the fatigue of some of our units and war cry over here so we'll break these guys get our uh, infantry mass to push forward get the horses moving uh, in the opposite direction chasing down those guys cavalrymen won't probably last all too long inside battle so we do have to keep that in mind. Yeah, the cavalry are holding, but they're definitely not going to uh, be able to last too long in the fight, uh, fighting over there. It's going to be down to the to the warriors to really must to uh, really do all of the damage. And there we go, a nice flanking maneuver. Good, uh, good timings is uh, what won this battle. Still a large pocket right there, still fighting on. Now these guys should probably turn off their shield wall and just really start marching forward. Um, I have one squad of cavalry, I believe, chasing down some of the remnants. Yeah, these guys are chasing down the remnants. And after this battle, I hope that uh, all of the uh, the Britons people over here, the Blue Faction, um, will be essentially expelled from uh, from the European continent. Yeah, so this one's a much smoother victory than uh, our previous one. So perfect, 300 losses, 400 losses uh, as opposed to their 1,400. Nicely done. But it looks like uh, their general unit survived. I'm not sure about the actual general himself. A lot of losses for their, uh, for their veteran corps though. Now what I hope this will mean is that uh, the the remnants will be essentially captured. And then we can just effectively, yeah, there we go. Remnants are gone as well. Is that all? And we can reoccupy this place. Perfect. So that'll uh, that'll put that area back into our control and this region as well. And it looks like we're going to be generating a whole lot of um, of money now. That is very, very good indeed. Hmm. Some really nice uh, area being secured over here, and I think um, I think we'll be done for uh, for today. I'll upgrade uh, the gladiator trait for this guy, 
And uh, well, we're going to end off the uh, the the episode here with this guy. This uh, this this veteran has plus six zeal, and the main thing that I'm using him for is that he actually brings in a whole lot of uh, bonuses to the public order, which is uh, helping out by um, reducing the penalty over here. Um, so you see their character is 17, uh, meaning that this guy is uh, helping quite a lot with uh, stabilizing the region. Um, so I think that is uh, that is that for now. This area can be uh, can be changed, so we're not actually going to put our edicts in uh, Rome anymore. We're going to cancel those two edicts and move them towards our uh, our frontier colonies, and we're going to try to uh, boost some stuff there, I guess. Um, so I'll see you guys next time where we play some more Rome Total War 2.